willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Scott, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Scott Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda. Our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in? Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Taparo. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? Ah, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. 
As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? I'm running a diagnostic now. Give it a second to the processor in a second. Did the seals break? No, gravity and physical integrity looks good. Please report it. Scott. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while. Then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. So parts of the body could be waking up. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. What about food? We can run an intravenous line into the pod. Standard nutrient package. See how their system responds. Will do. I'll start slow and go from there. And if necessary, add boosters to the line. We can't risk pulmonary arrest. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. Report to the At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda. 
our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. We're getting reports the water flow control is I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future, a vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream, and I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parchero, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. Just take deep breaths. <clears throat> Was that floating? <laughs> I had a little hiccup with the gravity. What? Hey, when is it? It's been 600 years. We're in Andromeda. It worked? So far, so good. How do you feel? Like I've got the world's worst hangover. So, your name's Lucas Greer? It was when we left. They need you on the Pathfinder mission team. Let's get you ready to go. So soon? Probably has to do with whatever knocked out the gravity. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Wow, that was... weird. How do you mean? I don't remember dreaming or anything. One minute I'm in the Milky Way, getting ready to sleep, and the next... You're two million light years away. I still need an update no joke. On our we really flew that we far. In as soon as we really did. Welcome to Andromeda. Got any food? I'm starving. We'll start you with some liquid protein. No pancakes? Your digestive system hasn't handled solid food in over six centuries. We need to go slow. Right. We're getting reported Man, the just, just hearing that out loud. Six centuries. Yep. All without pancakes. What about liquid pancakes? Sorry, it's mushy, milky stuff. Tastes like paste. Oh, well, you're not getting a tip. Nobody was in this. Engineering, this is Cryobay. We've got a pod that was damaged when we lost gravity. You'll probably want to send something over. Sweet dreams. Upside down, or am I still dreaming? It left a nasty bump on your head. Let me take a look. First five minutes in Andromeda, and we're already crashing the car. You thought it'd be easy? No, but I figured any scars could wait till we land. Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. Hey there. Hell of a wake-up call, huh? 
Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder, can you go reset it? There! It's reset! Do it. We're routing the turret now! We're in recovery! It's working! Readings are in the green! Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Close. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? My father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky.
All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll wanna get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Crashing the party, huh? Sorry. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah. Be ashamed to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys in the ride down. No sensor coverage, huh? We'll be flying by the seat of our pants. This is Neil Armstrong. He didn't have 20,000 people waiting for him to find our place to ride to the hangar. Besides, Pathfinder will be first on the planet. Okay. Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition, but my dad won her over. Glad Dunn came around. Your dad's the N7 here, he's got the most experience, and the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. This is the captain. Yeah. We'll still need an update on our sensor already. Please report in as soon as possible. Okay. I got it. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Looks like Dad's already suited up. To the hangar. Hang in there, Sarah.
Better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? If it was, this wouldn't be any fun. I can't wait to find out what's down there. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. waiting 600 years for this. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomaly is detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa. Security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. Beginning our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Hang on. Initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go. The flight guidance is scrambled. It'll pass. The controls are fighting me. Adjust approach vector. Three degrees to start. Now approaching upper troposphere. We're through. Holy! Shuttle 2, are you seeing this? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. 
Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Look, port side! That has to be advanced engineering. Iberia, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Functioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! Ryder, come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline, Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on! Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. On the move. Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. Damaged in the crash. No good to us now. Storms here don't seem natural. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on, we gotta get through it. This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Ah! Look safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell's going on with this place? Planet's trying to murder us? It can try. How's your gun? Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. I say it's working.
Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. Cliff, we find high ground. Come on! Not sure we want to be the top. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach! Think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. Coming from inside the mountain. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. In crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. job to figure it out. That sounds like your old man talking. He was right. Something went wrong here. We have to find out what. One thing at a time. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hard if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. Lion, shoot it! He sees us! <laughs> we can't understand you. We're not here to fight. That man's with us. Lion, shoot it! Doesn't sound friendly. It was starting to look ugly there. Didn't think we could take the chance. Well, you saved my life. It'd be a hell of a thing to survive the crash only to get shot by aliens. I knew they weren't the friendly sword. We still don't even know what they wanted. Nothing good the way they were armed. Who says we even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. Or any rules, by the look of them. But what did we do to them? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! 
Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah, huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle a gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Shuttles. Good. The atmospheric sensor is still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. And no radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. Vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. Never seen anything like it. Looks to be at least three or four centuries old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long-range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower, maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. Our people. I'll mark the nav point. Shit! The hell's that? Damn! Watch out! Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was. How did it cloak like that? It's organic. No sign of technology. Wow. So the cloaking is biological? Yeah. Weird.
is the other half of our shuttle. What a mess. I can't believe we survived this. We're not off planet yet. Shit! We're rolling our perimeter! It's an ambush! Aw, oh, hell, they got the jump on us! Careful they go one of those animals! Watch for cloaking! There! We got them all! <laughs> well, you're pretty good at this, Ryder. Huh? I fought off the occasional raider or two in my day. I used to guard a Mass Effect relay. Wish we'd had one for the Orcs. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. We've experienced a catastrophic lightning hit. Liam and Ryder are gone. What's your location? Damn. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. Mayday! Mayday! Ship in distress! Sir, our engine's down. Prepare for an emergency landing. Hey, maybe they made it. There's hope. Taking a beating from the storms, along with everything else on this planet. Maybe a lightning rod of some kind. No idea how to get it working, though. living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on.
What are you doing, Ryder? Oh, shit. That can't be good. Oh. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Weird. If that's poison, I know who to blame. to get us. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill old humans, probably? Crap. We sure could use Sam right about now. Uh. Hey, that door opened. Some kind of research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in, like an artifact. Ugh! Watch it! What is it? Weird. You hear that? Look. There. So now killer robots, too? Huh. The guests back home would love this place. Fried. Could be a console of some sort. For that door. Maybe it's closed for a reason. His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Might have tangled with our robot friend there. Doesn't say much, other than it's not organic. And it's about the same age as that artifact. You suppose it was guarding it? Could be. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. Any theories, recall specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Weather's still crappy. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Oh, damn! They got a lightning rod up and running! Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! Green, they've got it. We 
Thank God. I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive, back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock. On our way. That point marked. Watch it. here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Do these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word, then started shooting. What about you? We didn't stop for a chat. Don't let up! Ah! Light 
Vikings have their shuttle! Sound off! I'm here! Still alive! Here! Present! I can't get a beat on those things! Just keep firing! We can do this! Harry, you guys okay? Not dead yet! Pits when do rocks float? Yeah. Just go with it! Ugh. Uh. Uh. I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Now I feel better. What about the others? Fisher's wounded, but sitting tight. Greer's with him. Though our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. She's been hit! Take cover! Take cover! I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... <clears throat> I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? QEC link established. Affirmative, Scott. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. No detours. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? <clears throat> Sam's right. We don't have much... Look! The rods! They're drawing the lightning away! If we hug that wall, they might keep us safe. So the long-range scans were right. This planet could have been home. This organic life form died recently. It appears this was a trap for catching it. You suppose those aliens set it? If they did, they don't play nice with anyone. Well, maybe they're starving. This tree shows signs of cellular mutation. Perhaps as an adaptation to the environment. It's lasted this long. Guess that makes it the Alpha Tree, huh? Right. But what happened to the rest of the planet?
close. The nav point shows my dad's up there. Sir. Stay low. found an abandoned lab, like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. Wouldn't be much of a recon specialist if I didn't. <laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Baptism by fire. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop with the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down... The lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble. But we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. It's Scott's game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Combat profile. Sam, 
Give me engineer profile. Sir, where are you getting these profiles? Little help from Sam. What does that mean? Just focus on the fight. The storm's getting worse. We'll lose our chance if we don't beat it. Come on! This looks like a control center. Keep him off my back. You heard him. We made it. In one piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. What now? I need to decipher the language. There's more coming up. What's the plan here? They'll surround us in no time. We need to defend both sides or they'll flank us. Where'd you want us? On the move! Right! I'm off. Got it! Watch it! Think I see movement! We held them off at the shuttle, we can do it again! A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. They mean business. Keep them off your dad. Analyzing possible inputs. 25% decrypted. Hurry. We don't have long. Hold both sides. Can't let them slip through. Anyway, I don't know, but they sure want it back. Well, 50% decrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. I will need a moment to evaluate the pattern. We only have a moment. Do it. Ryder, don't go too far. is 75% complete. We've almost got it. They're falling back! Could be regrouping for another push. Stay sharp. Decryption complete. That did it. It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. <laughs> Scott, I need your help over here. Go, it's okay. We'll keep a lookout. We need to get this door open. On it! Put your back into it. <sighs> you really think we can shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Nothing on this planet has listened so far. Just be careful. Worried about your old man, huh? I won't tell anyone. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what we have.
we can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. Scott. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Uh, ah. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his. And he chose you. I'm sorry, Scott. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Korra? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Scott. Whoa. Well, if that's how it has to be... Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Korra? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? I'm sure there's a lot I don't know, but... I'll figure it out. If it helps, you've got me to lean on. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but... 
We need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. He never mentioned anything about that. It allowed me to know him better. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. He's gonna be. 
be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. Got it. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Captain wants to see a full duty roster. I just updated the charts. All stasis personnel report to duty station. Okay, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Let your teams know the docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? Welcome to the Nexus, Gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. 
Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after-effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. This place should be packed with people. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But... we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here! You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Jiren Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. 
Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to... Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. You have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. 
as Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the Initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a Pathfinder until they've Pathfound something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder. We're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan Eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him... humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. 
With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the Initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Salarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Salarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Salarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Salarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage? Gave the adaptation more time to develop? Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Nothing more for now. See you later. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at... Workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. You are Scott Ryder, salary code 19B, active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. 
Seven worlds nicknamed Habitats have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion. And mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the Scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, please see me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. We came across alien technology on Habitat 7. It seemed to affect the weather. Your people know anything about that? There have been reports. Failed scouting missions have mentioned advanced structures of unknown design. Whatever they are, they defy explanation. But with our resources stretched so tight, no one has had a chance to study them. And what if the answer was bad for morale? Suppose these things turn people into food. All we know is the cat are interested in them. I'd rather not stir things up. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. 
So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success.
Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know, it, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction, or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. No standoff there. Too small for lizards. You'd be surprised. There's also Bervine in the seed bank. Nobody's making Creeper in Andromeda. You'd be surprised. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently, we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. 
and Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Word is, there's been trouble on the station. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Have to go now. See you later. Later.
This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. <laughs> what am I going to do? Biometrics do not match. Negative match. Negative match. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale Atkins reports to Kandros' department, assigned to station security. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave, and you don't come back. I'll leave.
planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Herrick's into life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Aradana's the space and math whiz. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Hi, Pathfinder. You want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found this. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Trans technicians, please report to the Hyperion Coupling Annex. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilken Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Milken, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the Ket, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. 
Witness saw the Chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry. That's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilk and Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyrene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Engineering reports. Hyperion power drop is now... This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. 
I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in? I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Can wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. 
We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Hello Scott, welcome back to Samnood. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. How do human experiences affect a computer? This was a question your father often pondered. I am intended to be the answer. Sounds like we both are. What does this mean for us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder. Not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnoed on the Hyperion to investigate further. Printed books? 
reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Learn to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari. And they are getting older, so we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, 
The study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories, which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines, 
until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planetside, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there.
I'll make it right, Dash. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. His sacrifice won't be forgotten. Agreed. Everything I do will be for him. I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Leg's feeling a little better. Looks like the muscle's bruised. The good news is the bone didn't break. I'm sure the bastards were getting around to it. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? The captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the kit. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father, and Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate. That was a tough fight on Habitat 7. Just glad to be on the other side of it. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the only part that matters. I've met one Pathfinder, well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah. Sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right. Look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could, I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know.
Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. We call this the research room. 
You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Hey. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. 
I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus Science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. Sixty pages. Will this be useful to my mission? It's extraordinary what we can learn from Dirt's profile, what lived and died here, how our own plants might fare. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible! I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you, and make sure you're okay out there. I appreciate the offer, but I'm happy where I am. Tinkering in labs. And, uh, in case you offered hoping to get to know me better, that's not gonna work. I mean, I prefer to keep things professional. I understand completely. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. How's it going? I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. How long have you been awake in Helios? Not as long as some. Missed the entire mess of the uprising, thank heaven. I was defrosted to replace an exiled member of the team. Not that there was much science to do for the longest time. So what did you do? Helped wherever I could. Made plans for science we would eventually do. Spent some time on an investigation, figuring out how long the food would last if the worst happened. Who's essential, who's not, who gets what, I... I don't want to do that again. 
I'm so sorry. I can't believe you had to do that. With no arcs, no pathfinders, we had to plan for the worst. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The Initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tion found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. Tell me something else about the ship. The glass on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-Sec battering ram. It's sturdy. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into forty-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model, how power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm... You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. Being nervous means you understand what's at stake. That's the problem. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. 
I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Yes? How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I need to talk to you. About something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... Trigger? It unlocked a... Memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI. And he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Hello, Scott. It is interesting to be renewed. How do you mean? Since my creation, I have been Alec Ryder's Sam. Now, I am your Sam. I am still myself, but now the input and experiences I have are completely new. I will develop in a new direction. The term reincarnation seems appropriate. Are you okay with changing who you're becoming? I cannot know until I see the result. I look forward to our continued partnership.
Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Let's say hypothetically I was out sick the day they taught quantum... <clears throat> uh, embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh... How are those jokes coming, Sam? My algorithms are formulating a new one, calculating the trajectory of the punchline. <laughs> that was not a joke. Oh, right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. if you need me. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Lion's career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here? Everything's new. And I want to see it all. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? 
I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself, that'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered, you've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Yes? We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom Joel, Dad Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. I'll talk to someone. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Ryder. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You're pretty familiar with the ship. 
I made sure the technicians had what they needed to keep the Tempest ready and waiting. Leadership wanted to strip her for parts, but I kept saying, a Pathfinder's gonna show up. I like being right. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, things might start falling off the Tempest at the most inopportune times. I'll take my chances. Just wanna see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for it. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvia are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Kalo? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that, then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? How tough has it been on the Nexus all these months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Can't say I have. Well, let me tell you, it's tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation, imagining which would be worse. But hey! You could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Good talking to you, Gil. 
Anytime. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Yes? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were his second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival, just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Ryder? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. 
A huntress's work is never done. Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful species in the galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue Ardot Yakshi, people demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic protege. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Do you have just a minute? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance fig maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. 
Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Hi there. Here we are, one young Pijack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Tell me about the Pathfinder Headquarters. The Pathfinder Headquarters is located within the Operations Center. It will proudly collect the work of our daring explorers for years to come. It is also where Director Jan Tan oversees the initiative. What goes on in hydroponics? Hydroponics is an essential element of the Nexus's life support system. It provides the station with vital oxygen and food supplies. Feel free to stop by and see our botanist, Dr. Camden. He always enjoys speaking with visitors. What do people around here do for fun? Due to resource constraints, the Nexus's recreational venues are limited to the Vortex. The Vortex is a social establishment where colonists can gather to relax or enjoy a drink. Please remember, consumption of alcohol while operating machinery or piloting spacecraft is strictly prohibited. What's the Cultural Exchange Center? The Cultural Center is intended as an educational venue for any new alien species we meet. By teaching them about the initiative, we hope to foster an air of cooperation and understanding. Tell me about the tech labs. Initiative scientists are hard at work in the tech labs, analyzing data and samples acquired within Andromeda. The resulting information is then used to further initiative research and outpost creation. Please be aware, 
Access to the tech labs is restricted to essential personnel only. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Welcome back. Tied things up for the old ground team before I left. Early for so many goodbyes. At least Liam's still here. And one rider. Oops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Just some light scatter from ice in the scourge. I'll recalibrate the sensors for a bloody nuisance cloud. up something. Deploying probe. I found something. up something. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Getting a scan.
system, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1, designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Satellite detected. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all there ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> Set a lot. 
lot of people had their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. to even start. Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. They didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos home. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay.
This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain it. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. <laughs> Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Really, Ryder? We've 
Got company. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The outpost's research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components.
Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. All these challenges, and the colonists still tried to tough it out. They didn't know what they ran for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible, but since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Holy oh, shit, it works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. I'm not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Thank you. 
Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Parkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep, a leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning.
Another armor piece. Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. formations like this made a lot of kids think of alien worlds water and weather nothing tougher in the long run pathfinder the scanners picked up chief reynolds chest piece confirming single shot unable to determine weapon type but entry point is at the back Exit past through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omnitool might shed some light. Wow. The Remnant took over. Let's check it out. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. Parking nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni Tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. Accessing data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? Approaching Site 2. Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right. But it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Ket. We'll deal with the Ket. One thing at a time. 
Get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation within safe levels. Life support at 100%. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it, up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. Should be enough glyphs. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off, or I will put you down. Whoa, easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but... You're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots!
first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Ryder, you've been studying this... Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All Remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough? Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've gotta figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. What was your deal, coming to Andromeda? Chance for a niche that didn't exist anywhere else. Though I suppose it doesn't here either. We're changing that. I know it. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No. That's kind of the point. It's that mechanical. You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant to do, or they die. That doesn't mean you're doing the right thing. I know. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Look there. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant strip. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. the next try that's us the next try is us it appears to reconfigure the panels that rise from the floor that could come in handy We're missing something. to use the interface that controls this. Yes! Nice job, Ryder. I'll be able to interface Pathfinder.
job, Ryder. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop shit. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scans suggest. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Sue up and find out. Got it. like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. seem shaken up. We've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply.
Radiation levels normal. Life support is stable. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah, guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus knows shit about the Cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out Ked bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. was tortured. Nexus didn't mention anything about this. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there? Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Anton, Darren T, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. A field log, Pathfinder. Issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest.
You'll need to scan for the missing glyphs, Pathfinder. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Ready. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. are online and connected to something in the lake this could be the master switch we're looking for i'll meet you there don't do anything without me Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I like those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance. Got them all. Pathfinder, there is Nexus equipment nearby. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well.
Marco. Who? Good enough. Prepare to swim. Radiation. Levels within except. This can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing! Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes? Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! Unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like it. Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. You go ahead. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. 
If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. This gravity well's sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. And for when we try to explain all this. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. There's a low hum through everything here. Can you feel it? Let's stay focused. We can worry after we find the system locked down. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Dead. Nothing. I bet they used it for working in that liquid. never be able to describe all this. People will have to see it for themselves.
this for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Another aqueduct. How many do they need? If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end. Your processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the world to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try.
This device appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit flow pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Huh. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Ryder! Up here! What happened? I can't get indoors to work. The conduit's breached! Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And received. I'll give them a shot. Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. If we got that door working too. How do we get across? That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait, plants. All the way down here? You see them too? I thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. I'm starting to get the hang of this. That's the 
the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Observers coming up at us! Armor hydraulics compensating. goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way. Too far, even for jump jets. right under our feet. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with... something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the fall. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. How our readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. Should we go? Baby, get back to the entrance now. I saw it. What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out! Vents! Keep running! Too far to jump! Got another bridge? Thank you. 
wise to escape, Ryder. I know, Sam! Another gravity well! It could go anywhere! It goes away from here! We're taking it! It's still coming! Sweeping the whole vault! Killed anything in its way! Yeah, like us! Is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Vault restart is now complete. That was. We talk about a rush. What was that field? Might have been sweeping the vault or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far, we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still. Wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. <sighs> Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. 
Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an idle site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I mean, just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. Maybe more than a little. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, 
Your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Loot from our outposts. And an Ark escape pod? Where did they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need enough close scan.
Looks like they found it drifting and brought it here. I'm not able to extrapolate point of origin, Pathfinder. But the Ark could be intact, like the Hyperion. Let's hope so. At least it's cooler in here. These caves could be a good shelter, if people need it. Watching the corners. Wait to see what the initiative makes of this planet. Hopefully, Prodromos sets a high bar. Your first outpost. It must mean something to you. Nice work. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. 
in honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Radiation within safe levels. Life support at 100%. Not exactly a Christmas-type planet. Eos will have holidays, once we figure out the seasons. I'm trying to look at the potential. In 50 years, this could be a beach vacation. Speed bump! Got them all. Didn't even finish unpacking. Kept more on them from the start. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the kid attacked from all. He died protecting this outpost, and we left him. We'll make it right, Liam. I've got another one. Standing by. Waiting for your scan. Y'all are Thysa. Records updated, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Initiative's not military. They weren't prepared. Bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Not a lot left behind for a massacre. What if they were removed? We know the Nexus didn't bother picking up the bodies. You don't think it could have been the cat? Are you trying to give me nightmares? Portable cover of cat design. Didn't bother to take it with them. Lexi, update records for Trinidus Gordanus. Consider it done, Pathfinder. Scan might help us figure that out. West, Porter M. 
Get that, Lexi? Yes, Pathfinder. Records updated. Not sure what's worse. This or dying slow like promise. Happy thoughts, Liam. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Secondary terminals, no access. If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Looks like they left in a hurry. Report said the evac was cut off by Cat. Pathfinder, a maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Run. Hey! Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Cat are inbound to your location. Cat and that thing? Son of a... Cat incoming. Who failed, Brazilian or not? Surprised the Nexus still wants an outpost on EOS. You know what they say third time's a charm. We'll make this right. Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. All components at Site 2 had security tags, compiling possible nav points. Got a component for Site 2's project.
We've got targets! Nice work. Damn it. One of our shuttles ahead. Worth checking, if only to make sure the cat don't get to keep it. All Site 2 components are accounted for. Let's head to Site 2's research station and see what good they do. Did you just ask, would you rather, would you rather? That's cold, Cora. Help us figure that out. Let's get to a research station, see what we've got. Radiation levels increasing. within safe levels. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear.
Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop. Meaning, we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now, and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Neglect your prosthetics. Neglect adds character. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I... Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someone's. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. 
or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Ryder? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belinza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her, and then prayed for her. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little... Me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I ask. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. 
I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Kesh said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. You can't make sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Krogan could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. We have a much better shot at something good out here. Can't argue with that. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Cash is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable, the works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? 
Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. The way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Told her. A gloating brody. It was a close game. You did give me a better game than Drac. Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is... not even worth thinking about. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean... someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? 
Anywhere is gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I always have time for you. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. We'll talk later. I know it. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model, how power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no, I'm not falling for that again. I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. It sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if the sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least.
Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is... well... old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem... busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right! Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful, yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech? It's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger.
scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder. This is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. Prodromos will have more going on when you come back later. Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on Eos after you get back. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means Forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I join the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. It's a shame we drift apart like that. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. Anything you'd say if you weren't in their direct employ? If I wasn't in their direct employ, I'd give that rat's nest a wide berth. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. 
We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief? You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unset start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? <laughs> I let it. And my people stay out of it when I do. And I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe. That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. What can you say about the Prodromos block? Exacting bunch, as the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of claims for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that when shooting doesn't have to start. Sent his go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Hello? Your territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey all.
Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The Initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. We ask that you refrain from picking foliage in the next common area. Strawberries. This is amazing. Tale of I can't believe down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. I'm going to Tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. I guess this is one bet that paid off. Point taken. Always revel in your victories. That's why I'm standing here. Oh, I never doubted you. It was the others. They don't share our vision, Ryder. Of a prosperous future in Andromeda. Due respect, Director Tan. But you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. 
This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. had a year to think about it. It's the Scourge, Director Tan. Its origin defies all known explanation. How? We've brought all that equipment along. And the Tempest's readings are helping, but we've just scratched the surface. The history of the Initiative cannot show that we were defeated by a space cloud. Some things are bigger than we are. I will not accept that excuse. This is science, and your merry band over there are scientists, aren't they? Figure it out. Goodbye, Director. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? It was down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom-line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. 
Well, at least the sordid business behind us. Something I can help you with? That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The Initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Must be great to see all your hard work on display. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vlad Brecker, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelet without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface's end will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure.
Pathfinder. AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and the process. Now we're living. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. Feels more like... living. Yes, Pathfinder? What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> Another time. Pathfinder. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to Krogan. 